With the first 24 floors of tomorrow's business building humming with activity, the PR men doing the chatting up, the accountants checking the books, the secretaries transcribing dictation, and the computer doing the thinking, what about the top floor, the 25th floor, the executive floor? It's very lonely. Very empty. Once upon a time, there was Charles, Frederick, William, um, um, what's his name? And now there's only two of us left, me, and the man who talks all day, silently, to the computer. And the office, bare, functional. Not even papers to rustle. Computer's doing that. When you get lonely, you can't call your secretary. We don't have them anymore. And the time, the minutes take hours to go by, hours. 323 minutes to go to knock-off time. What is a lonely, redundant human being to do all day while the computer's doing the work downstairs? Never mind the leisure problem. What can we do during working hours? There is a nasty psychiatric rumour around that your poor, lonely executive should pass the day in lofty isolation playing with his toys. Executive toys, of course. There's the magnetic decision maker. Makes decisions like I do. Well, it's very restful anyway. Then there's the feely. You can spend hours just watching the shapes and colours change. In fact, I do spend hours watching the colours and shapes change. What about a business drink? Of course, there's nobody to drink with. But you can gamble with yourself. See how far up the rods go before the ball drops. Gamble your money away. Then there's this. The magnetic ball. It can never leave. It just keeps moving round and round and round uselessly. Like me. Then there's a thing that does this. And then magnetic trees, repelling each other forever. Oh, yes, there's a lot the busy executive will be able to do. A lot. And pretty soon, before he notices it, it'll be time to go home. Mr Burke? Mr Burke? It's time to go home, Mr Burke. This is a recorded message. 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 This is a recorded message.